Hi everyone, I'm Joe. Welcome to uh, the Pixel VR's multi-user VR training. Uh, I'm currently in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, so why don't we kind of start and get everyone's name, uh, where you are, and what uh, endpoint you're using? So, so I'm Joe. I'm currently in Minneapolis using an HTC Vive headset. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm in Portland, Oregon, using an HTC Vive. I'm Michael Carter. I'm at Pixel Group, and I'm on a PC. I'm Dominic Cudioni. I'm in Royal Oak, and I'm using a PC. Okay, great. Uh, glad to have everyone here. So first, I just want to point out this warehouse that we're standing within. Uh, it's an expansive warehouse. Uh, you can teleport around and, and explore it. Uh, but right now, it's, uh, just kind of look around. You'll see that there's different AI agents doing uh, different jobs, different tasks, just to kind of build ambience within the scene. Uh, but our main focus is going to be within this area. Uh, we're going to be replacing uh, these filter membranes and we're going to be putting them into the, an empty chamber over there. Uh, so if one of us was not able to complete these uh, tasks or didn't know the step-by-step -step procedure, uh, what we can do is I can actually bring up a guide. Please locate and apply your personal protection equipment or PPE on the workbench. Simply grab the item and bring it towards your body to apply it. So this guide would take a step-by-step -step through the process and procedure and make sure we did everything correctly with both audio cues and visual representation. Uh, but because I'm going to be taking us through this uh, our, ourselves today, I'm just going to go ahead and close that for now. Uh, so the first step you may have saw uh, was to apply our personal protection equipment, or PPE, uh, and that is demonstrated or visualized within the step, uh, this VR environment uh, by these work gloves and these safety glasses. Uh, so to apply them, all we're going to do is we're going to simply grab them or just bring them to our body. And you're going to see that my hands have changed to gloved hands versus the ghost blue hands that everyone else has. Uh, and the same thing is going to be for the safety glasses. Uh, you're going to Good. grab them and apply them to the head. And you're going to hear that positive affirmation that's going to tell us that we have completed the step successfully and correctly and we are okay and good to move on to the next step. So now that our uh, safety equipment has been applied, we are now safe to work in the environment. So I can now bring our attention to this filter rack over here. It's going to be four high and four across. That is our dynamic filter rack. And every time we run this server, it randomly picks one of those tubes and uh, makes it empty. So we don't know which tube we're going to get uh, every time we roll the scenario. And as you can see, it is this uh, tube kind of in the middle over here. That's going to be the filter we're going to be replacing. So the first step for us is actually going to be to lubricate that chamber so we can insert the membranes later. Uh, so that step is going to require me to grab this this rag and I'm going to put it in the loop pan. And then I'm going to go over to that empty chamber that we're going to be using. I'm Great job. Rub that lubricant onto that rag. And again, you're going to hear that positive affirmation and we're good to move on to the next step. Next, we're going to re-lubricate this rag. I'm going to grab one of these filter membranes. I'm going to apply lubricant to these metal end caps Good. and that filter membrane. Next is going to be uh, inserting this membrane, uh, but I would like to call attention to these, fil these flow arrows on this filter. Uh, the flow direction is actually going to be towards that back wall. Uh, and if I were to take this filter and apply it or try to insert it incorrectly, it's actually not going to let me. The system knows what the correct way is, what the correct process is, uh, and won't let me complete it incorrectly. Uh, so to correctly insert this, I'm actually gonna need to rotate this with the membrane. And now I go to insert it, it is inserted. Uh, the next step to join two membranes inside the chamber is actually going to be to grab one of these black interconnector rods. Uh, this is just a plastic interconnector rod that connects these membranes together inside the chamber. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to teleport over. Excellent work. And I'm going to insert that, that interconnector rod. Uh, so next, the uh, next couple of steps are kind of uh, very similar. Uh, so why don't I have uh, Joe? Uh, why don't you assist me? If you could grab the, the loop rag, uh, apply more lubricant to it, and then. Uh, Let's apply some lubricant to both ends of that filter membrane. Sure thing. Great. And now keeping in mind the flow direction, uh, if you could insert that membrane into the chamber. Great. Uh, so I don't have then, uh, Josh, if you could grab the next interconnector rod. 
Do you want to insert that into the chamber? Yep. Uh, Excellent so work. So does that chamber allow for all three of the filters to go in? Yes. So we got that uh, filter chamber uh, as CAD data. Uh, so that is true to one-to-one -one scale. And then we've done our research and measurements of these filter membranes. Uh, so three of these filter membranes fit perfectly within that pressure chamber. So I'm just going to apply this last filter into there. And now all the membranes are in. So the next step for us is actually going to be to seal up that pressure chamber uh, so we can have uh, water flowing through it again. Uh, you'll notice that these other chambers have these end cap assemblies with clamps and pipes and everything like that, and we're missing that. So if you turn your attention to this table to my left, you'll see that all of the parts uh, for us to close up the chamber are laid out, laid out on that. So what I can do is I can actually, st I'll step back and I'll kind of walk uh, Josh and Joe through the closing up procedure, just verbally, and have you guys complete that for me. So the first piece of Joe, I'll get it out of the way, but it's going to be that black, uh, that black cone, and you're going to be inserting that mesh side first into that filter chamber. Good. Great. Uh, and why don't I have Josh, if you could grab that metal retaining ring, and if you want to apply that Got to it. the chamber now. Great. And then the next piece is going to be the plastic pipe assembly, elbow. Yep, exactly. And you're going to grab that, and you're going to install that. Good. Perfect. Uh, and then now, just to clamp it all together, so we need to grab those blue clamps, both of them. Got it. Joe, so are you tracking anything while we were doing this procedure? Uh, yeah, so we're actually tracking the time it takes from the first step to the last step. Uh, just for demonstration purposes for this demo, uh, we can certainly do more advanced tracking. Uh, Great job. As well, but it was just an a easy demonstration of, of, of the point. So why don't we have... You've successfully bolts. replaced the missing membranes and brought the system back to full capacity. Here is a report detailing your performance for this session. If you'd like to reset this scenario, open the Scenario menu and select Restart Scenario. So this is our end screen. So as I was saying, these, this is the information that we're tracking for this particular demo, which is just time to completion. Uh, and it would also let us know if we've used the guide or not, uh, because I showed you the guide at the beginning of this demonstration. It, thinks, it says that we have used the guide. Uh, if we did not open that guide at all, it would have then had an additional audio to congratulate us for getting through it uh, without any assistance. Uh, so I just want to thank everyone uh, and uh, thank uh, Josh and Joe who did a great job of uh, assisting me in, in replacing everything on this filter membrane. So good job. Uh, we'll go a high five on that. Great job. Right. Good job, everyone.